Hi, welcome back to Leisure and Rec at Home. I am Betsy, and with me again is my assistant, Liam. Liam. So today we're going to be playing a brand new card game called Stop and Go. Now for this game, you're just going to use a regular set of cards like we did um, for our past couple card games, okay? So to play the game, it all depends on how many players you have. And in our comment section, you're going to see the directions link here. And if you have two players like we do, each player is going to have 20 cards and then you're going to pass out those 20 cards. Plus you're going to have 12 extra cards that you're going to keep to the side face down. If you have three players, each player is going to have 15 cards and you're going to have seven cards put to the side called steps. If you have uh, four players, you're going to each have 12 cards with four stops. If you have five players, you have nine cards with seven stops. And if you have six players, you're going to have eight cards with four stops. So, ahead of the video, I already dealt out the cards. So, Liam got uh, 20 cards and I got 20 cards. Then we got seven cards that are considered stops. And we're going to just put them to the side. Okay, we're not looking at them. They're not part of this game right now. So how we're going to be playing is like our last game, we're going to be talking a lot about our suits, okay? So part of our learning target is knowing those suits. So let's go over that learning target before we go any further. So today I will play a card game to practice identifying numbers, just like we've talked in the past about each of the cards have a number on it, like this is number four we're going to also identify letters like i have a card here that has a q on it what does the q stand for um queen queen and you're also going to have um car different suits and that's where our little picture comes into play okay so you're going to need to know those four suits so that is spades hearts, clubs, and diamonds. And you know when you got it is when you play the game according to the rules and you congratulate the winner or act like a good winner at the end. So, like I said, we already dealt out the 20 cards. Now once you deal out the cards, the next thing you wanna do is sort them by the suits. So right now I have a pile of all my spades. And not only do I have all the spades together, I'm going to put it right here on my paper. I also have them in order by ranking. Now for this game, ace is ace high or is ace low? Low. Low. So I'm going to, if I have an ace, I was going to put it towards the bottom. So I arranged all my spades together. I arranged all my hearts together. I put those on there. I arranged all my clubs. Ooh, I got a lot of clubs. And I put those all together. And then I arranged all my diamonds. Now you can either put these on the table or if you have some big hands, you can hold them in your hands. Um, when you have this many cards, it's a little easier just to set them on the table for me, at least. And Liam did the same thing with his cards. He has four piles, spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. And they're all in order from the very smallest to the highest. Now, how to play the game is you're trying to get rid of all your cards, okay? And the first player is going to put down any card they want. So Liam's our first player. He's going to put any card down right here into our center. So what card do you want to put down? It tends to be easier if you start low, but it's your choice. Any card you want. So just grab one of your cards, whichever one. He's and he's going to pick the four of what? Hearts. So then the person that has the five of hearts would go next. Guess what? Do you have the five of hearts? No. Do I have the five of hearts? No. So that means if we check here on our stops, oh, the five and six are in our stops. So he puts this down since he's the last person to play. He gets to play again. So go ahead and put another card down. 
A little different? Yeah, any card you want. How about you put down like an ace? So he puts the ace of spades down. So I have to put down the two of spades. Luckily, I do have the two of spades, so I put it down. Now, do you have the three of spades? Nope. Then it would come back to me. Do I have the three of spades? Nope. So I can't go. So since I was the last one to put a card down, I get to go again. So this time I'm going to put down the ace of clubs. Now, do you have the two of clubs? Nope. So it comes back to me. Do I have the two of clubs? Yes, I do. So I'm going to put that down. Then it goes back to you. Do you have the three of clubs? No. No, but I do. So I'm going to put that down. Now it comes to what comes after three? Four. Four clubs. So he does have the four of clubs. And I have the five of clubs. So I'm going to put that one down next. Now do you have, what comes after five? Six. Six. Now do you have the six of clubs? Nope. But no, seven. but I have the six. So here's the six. I'm going to put it down. He has the seven. I don't have the eight. He has the eight. Okay. I have the nine. He has the 10. I have the jack. And so do you have the queen? The queen of clubs? Yep. I know, but I do. So I'm going to put it down. And then he has the king of clubs. Now, like we said, king is the highest here. So he gets to start off on another card, whichever card he wants. So go ahead and put down any card you want. Probably it's because going. he was the last one to put down a card, and he put down the king. So just go ahead. Why don't you pick a low card? I'm probably not. I may not. Okay. So any card you want, sir. It's going to be a seven. Okay. So he puts down the seven of what? Hearts. Seven of hearts. I don't have the eight of hearts. Do you have the eight of hearts? Yep. Okay. Now, oh, I don't have the nine of hearts. Do you have the nine of hearts? Yep. I do have the ten of hearts, so I'm going to put that down. Do you have the jack of hearts? Of hearts? No. Nope. nope. So that probably means that the jack of hearts, yep, is in one of our stops. So that means that since, um, who put down the ten of hearts? You. So that means then I get to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have the Queen of Hearts. Well, I can either do the Queen of Hearts, but since I um, it stopped at me, I can actually pick any card of mine. So I'm going to do the Five of Spades. Do you have the Six of Spades? Nope. I have the Six of Spades. So who's... Do you have the Seven of Spades? He does. Now the Eight of Spades must be buried somewhere. So he, since he's the last one that went with a seven of spades, he can choose whatever card he wants to go. So pick any of your cards. I'm probably going to do one that can go in order. Close to most. So you go back and forth, back and forth, and you keep on going until someone runs out of all their cards. So it's their choice of which to start with. You can start low, you can start high. It's your choice. But if it gets to the highest card, no one can go higher than that, and no one has the next card, then we start over with a new card. So go ahead, pick one out. Okay, so he has the Ten of Spades. What comes after the Ten of Spades? Jack. Hey, do you have the Jack? Yep. Okay, he has the Jack. Now... I know that the after the jack is the queen, so I'm going to put that down. And now, uh-oh, we don't have the king, right? Yep. So then, since I was the last one to go, I get to go again. I'm going to put down the two of hearts. Do you have the three of hearts? I don't have any hearts. No, so I have the three of hearts, so I'm going to put down that. Okay. So the four of hearts has already been played. So it comes back to me again. So I'm going to put down the Ace of Diamonds. So he's putting down the Two of Diamonds. Now, I don't have the Three, so it goes back to you. Do you have the Three? 
No. No, but you were the last one to go, right, with the two of diamonds? So you yeah. get to go again. Which one do you want to play? How about you play some this one? So he played the Ace of Hearts. The two has already been played. So guess what? You get to go again. So one should go again. So I can do. So, oh, now he's gets, he puts down the king of hearts. Nothing's higher. So guess what? You get to go again. Go ahead. So he has the five. The six is already buried. So guess what? You get to go again. So he decides he's going to do seven. So then I, what comes after seven? Eight. Eight. I got that. There's no nine. Oh, no. So then we're going to go to, so there's no nine. So I am going to go instead and start again with the four. The five's already gone. So then I'm going to start with the queen and the queen of diamonds. And the king's already gone. So then I start with the queen of hearts. And that means I got rid of all my cards. All right. So what does that mean? You win. I won. So what do you have to do? Congratulations. Thank you. Now, as the winner, am I going to be like, oh, I'm awesome. I'm the best. No. no, that's definitely poor sportsmanship. But thank you so much for playing with me. I really enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that, too. Mm -hmm. Great. So that's a little game called Start and Stops. Um, once again, you can check it out. In the comment section is going to have all the directions and our little organization sheet. Have a great day. Bye.